Hi, this is Sudarshan from Mocker. In this video, we are going to look about IMT Common Application Form which is open for round 2 admission, which is common for all the four campuses. Let us see the important points about IMT. There is no sectional cutoff for IMT campuses. The accepted exams are CAT, ZAT and GMAT and CMAT is only accepted for the IMT Hyderabad and IMT Nagpur campus. Shortlisting will be based on both profile and non-profile. Through round 2 common application form, based on a score and profile, from only one campus the interview call will be given. The first preference are given for those applied in the first round. The first round of application for IMT Ghaziabad and IMT Nagpur is over and first round of application for IMT Hyderabad is open on the last date for application form for IMT Hyderabad is 26th December. The following table provides the overall cutoff in CAT which is located for IMT Ghaziabad, IMT Hyderabad and IMT Nagpur and also about the average CTC, total fees and number of intake of these following colleges. The overall cutoff for CAT percent release is not officially given in the, any of the IMT websites. These are the expected CAT cutoffs. IMT Ghaziabad is the main campus and it has the average CTC of 17.35 LPA and the total fees is 21.53 lakhs. Its expected CAT cutoff is 90 plus percentile and number of intake is 420 students. In IMT Hyderabad, expected CAT cutoff is 75 percentile and its average ETC is 12 LPA and the total fees is 14.5 lakhs and number of intake is 240 students. In IMT Nagpur, the expected CAT cutoff is 80 plus percentile and the average CT is 10.81 LPA and the total fees is 14.5 lakhs and number of intake is 360 students. Now let's look about the application process. This is the common application form for round 2 for the colleges IMT Ghaziabad, IMT Nagpur, IMT Hyderabad and IMT Dubai. During the application process, you can select the preferences of these colleges. To start your application, first you need to register at www.imt.edu.com. You should complete the online process by providing your personal information, academic qualification, test details and work experience if it is applicable. The application fees is 3500. After submitting your application, the profile detail form will be opened. In that profile detail form, you need to submit your 10th mark sheet, 12th mark sheet, graduation mark sheet. And if you have any work experience, you need to submit the work experience proof like work experience certificate, payslip and etc. But the only thing which they are asking is annual report of the company you are working or you are worked for and it is the mandatory. Many students are facing issues in this because for the companies who are not listed, it is difficult to get annual report from the NAC India website or even from BSE India website. So we have to directly go to the companies and ask for this process. So it will be convenient for the student if this process is alone, not a mandatory. But profile detailed form doesn't have deadline. Eligibility criteria. Minimum 3 years of bachelor degree in any discipline with minimum of 50 percentile marks is required. For IMT Gazia CAT 2023 is that 2024 or ZMAT which is taken between January 1st 2022 January 25th 2024 is eligible and for IMT Nagpur and IMT Hyderabad CAT 2023 score ZAT 2024 score GMAT which is taken between Jan 1st to Jan 20 to Jan 25th to Jan 24 including CMAT 2024 are eligible. As I said before, the CMAT scores are considered only for IMT Nagpur and IMT Hyderabad campuses. Pattern considers for selection process. Academic background. A strong, consistent performance in 10th and 12th grade is very important. Entrance scores. Meeting the minimum eligibility cutoff in a required entrance exam is mandatory. Work experience. If you have any work experience, you can give it. But if you do not have any work experience, you don't need to worry because it is not mandatory for this program. Shortlisting process. The applicants are shortlisted based on their profiles and eligibility. They must also meet the qualifying scores in at least one of the entrance exams, which is ZAT, GMAT, CAT or CMAT. The profiles are evaluated and the applicants are sorted into two groups, profile based and non-profile based. If, if the candidate is having a very high entrance exam scores and they will be considered a non-profile based. But if a candidate is not having a very high CAT score any entrance exam score, but if a candidate is having good work experience and good background, they are considered in the profile based. Candidates will go under a critical thinking test and personal interview on a day of admission process. The common application form for 2024 application for round 2 is open because of the student's suggestions. So till now, they did not mention any deadline or last date for submitting this application. So what I suggest is, is you can fill in and submit this form as soon as possible so that you will be in the safer side. Thank you and all the best.